Hi YouTube and uh, welcome to uh, this new little video. Um, as you might know or might not know, uh, I recently switched my DJI Spark with the uh, DJI Mavic Air. I actually got a pretty decent price for uh, my, my Spark so I thought I might as well take it a step further and uh, get the Mavic Air. Uh, the Mavic Air fits my needs perfectly and that's why I actually uh, actively chose to uh, buy the uh, Mavic Air instead of the new uh, Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic 2 Zoom. So yeah, well this video uh, isn't so much about the Mavic Air itself, it's more about the little DIY project I did myself. A uh, flight case, a DIY ground station. Um, that gives me the opportunity to um, stream my fly device, my phone that I'm using to fly to a cheap tablet inside this case. And um, I'm going to show you um, how I'm doing it and uh, what I did uh, and how I made this uh, custom fly case. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Please give it a like, please uh, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions, um, just uh, just ask them in the comments section. Um, I'm going to link to all the, uh, the things that I bought uh, to make this uh, custom fly case, and um, I hope you enjoy this video. So, let's get to it. First uh, things first. Uh, this hard case uh, I bought at uh, AliExpress was about uh, $52. Um, it's a Mavic Air specific uh, hard case, which means that all the cutouts inside are specifically made for the uh, Mavic Air. Um, but let's open it up and see what I got inside. Uh, it's This case specifically got those uh, safety locks, so you cannot just force the case open you have to press the safety buttons on the buckles here like this and then open it up i put this little uh, piece of foam inside here on the top just to protect the screen so i'm going to put that away as you can see um, i have a 10.1 inch uh, android tablet again a cheap tablet um, from AliExpress, I think it's about 65, 70 bucks for this. Um, yeah, so just a cheap Android tablet. I got this uh, power bank uh, specifically for the uh, Mavic Air. And as I said, uh, this case is uh, made specifically for the uh, Mavic Air. So all the cutouts are already there. It's nice and easy. And I'd say I spend about one and a half hour, maybe two hours max making this case. Uh, the thing that took me the longest was actually to find all the bits and pieces that I wanted. So uh, case, tablet, power bank, and a couple of cables, and a little LED light strip. I just bought it as, at the, uh, the local uh, hardware store. Um, I think it's all in all about... 220, 230, 230 US dollars. Um, yeah, there's not much other things to say. So um, I'm going to switch camera and I'm going to show you how you can stream your fly device to this Android tablet by using a Wi Fi router or uh, an old smartphone that you got lying around. The important thing is that you can make a Wi-Fi network when you're uh, out in the woods or wherever you're going to fly. Um, that's a must. You have to be on the same network with your fly device and your, uh, your external device to be able to stream the screen um, to each other. So that's a must. Either a 
Wi-Fi router or an older smartphone that can share its internet, uh, its Wi-Fi connection, you know, make a hotspot. But uh, I'm going to switch the camera and I'm going to show you how you do it. So, as you can see, now we switch uh, cameras. Uh, I hope the sound quality is okay. It's my action camera. I know it's not as good as before, but I hope you can hear me good enough so that I can walk you through the process of uh, streaming your uh, fly device to your extra screen. Um, in this case, we are running strictly Android. Um, I got a OnePlus 6 and this is just a cheap China tablet. Um, first of all, before you start, you have to create a Wi-Fi network to connect. Um, in my case, I got a little uh, Wi-Fi router, but as I mentioned um, earlier, you can also use uh, an old Android phone or whatever uh, phone you've got as long as it's possible to share your Wi-Fi network to make a mobile hotspot. The important thing is that your fly device and your external extra screen device is on the same network, just like when you're using a Chromecast. Um, that's the most important thing to being able to stream your screen to this other screen. So now I'm on the same network, I'm on this one. So um, before I turn on my drone and my controller, I'm going to go into my phone. And I am going to open up a app called ScreenStream. I'll also link to that in the description. Oops. It's going to open up. You got some different uh, possibilities up here in the menu section to stream to a browser. Um, or Miracast, just like I'm going to do. So I choose the Miracast option here. And then I just press uh, Start uh, Broadcast. So now what my device is going to do, it's going to look for... Um, screens or other devices on this network here to be streaming at. Uh, right now there's nothing here as you can see. So I'm going to open up this app called Wi-Fi Display Sync. I'm going to link to that as well. What this app does uh, is that it makes this tablet like a Chromecast. So now it's emitting a signal telling this app that there is one device on this network that can be streamed to. So I'm just going to choose the, the upper option here. And as you can see now, my phone screen, screen is streamed to the uh, external uh, device. Now I'm just going to go out of that. I'm going to power up my Mavic Air. I'm going to power up my controller and um, I'm going to open up my DJI Go 4 and I'm going to wait for the controller and the Mavic Air to connect. I'm just going to cancel the updates, just letting it check in for the latest firmware. I'm going to ignore the update here again. Now I can just press go fly. And as you can see the screen here turned around. And I'm now seeing exactly the same on the screen up here as I'm seeing down here. Works great. And um, yeah there's not much uh, other to it. Make sure to be on the same network, Wi-Fi network with your fly device and this screen and um, you're good to go. As I said, I'm going to link to uh, all the bits and pieces I, uh, I bought on AliExpress to make this case. 
I'm also going to link to the, uh, the apps I'm using to stream the screen. And again, if you have any questions, just ask them below in the comment section, and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, would be highly appreciated. And uh, then I'm just going to say goodbye and hope I'll see you soon again.